Welcome to Storytime with Coco. Today we'll be reading How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy, and the boy loved stars very much. Every night, the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. He dreamed of how this star would be his friend. They would play hide-and-go-seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try to catch one. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. The next day, he set out at sunrise, but he could not see a star anywhere. So he sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and he waited and ate lunch. And waited. And after dinner, he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find. But the star was still way out of reach. Hmm. He thought he might lasso the star with the life preserver from his father's boat, but it was much too heavy for him to carry. If only he could fly up in a spaceship and just grab the star, but the only spaceship he owned was made out of paper and it didn't fly well at all. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky to reach his star? But the only seagull he could find didn't want to help. The boy worried he would never catch a star. Just then, he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. He tried to fish it out with his hands, but when the boy reached out to touch the star, it just rippled through his fingers. Now the boy was sad, but in his heart, the wish just wouldn't give up. Slowly, he began walking home. Oh, look, what's that? <laughs> it 
And that's when he saw it, washed up on the bright golden sand. What is that? Is it? The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. The end. See you next time. Bye-bye.